you can pay a little or a lot for whiskey, from the $40 blended whiskies that are just made for mixing, all the way up to some of the rare and specialty whiskies that go for hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. While those expensive whiskies may be worth the money, there's still plenty of affordable whiskies you can get for under $75. So I'm gonna take you through five of my favorite bang for buck whiskies that won't break the bank. Hey everyone, I'm Nath Martin, the Whiskey Scribe, and I'm gonna take you through five affordable whiskies. Now, often when you're looking for a good whiskey, 80 to $100 is about the starting point. So my criteria for an affordable whiskey is something that's a 700 ml bottle, under $75, readily available, and it's perfectly enjoyable to drink neat. So starting with a classic scotch, I've got the Glenlivet Founders Reserve. Now the Glenlivet Distillery was founded in 1824, and since then they've been a mainstay of the single malt whiskey industry. They've got a huge history and I would love to do a video on that at some point. Now the Founders Reserve is an entry level, no age statement whiskey that's been aged in a selection of first fill American oak casks. First fill casks just means it's an American oak barrel that's had bourbon in it, but it hasn't had anything else added to it since. The Founders Reserve, you can see it's got a, a pale gold color on the nose. You get sort of some citrus fruits, rather zesty and sort of there's even a little bit of sweet orange in the background. And on the palate, those zesty fruits, they come through. A bit of toffee apples and some creamy sweetness in there. And then that finish, it's sort of, um, it's long and sweet and it sort of, it lingers and like very gradually tapers off. There's a lot of variations of Scottish whiskies, um, a lot of different age finishes and things like that. What this is, it's, it's a Scottish whiskey in its raw form. So it's, it's a perfect example of a nice floral, um, fruity, spayside whiskey um, without sort of anything to distract you from that. They haven't tried to do any special cask finishes. It's just exactly what a spayside whiskey is. So it's a very great entry level whiskey for any friends who wanna try it. And it doesn't go bad on ice in summertime. Now I said this was affordable, you can pick it up from Dan Murphy's for $73. Uh, keep your eye out though, they're often on special. I managed to pick it up for 60 bucks. Next, I wanted to give you an Irish option. So we're going for another traditional distillery, Bushmills, which was first licensed in 1608, which makes them the oldest running distillery in the world. 400 years and they're still making a good tipple. So this is the 10 year old single malt and it's been aged in a combination of Oloroso sherry casks and ex bourbon barrels. Now the bourbon barrels will give it a little bit of a vanilla sort of note, while the sherry casks tend to impart more of a creamy sweetness. And being an Irish whiskey, it's triple distilled. So the appearance, you can see it's got this, um, it's got this nice light gold color. On the nose, you're getting sort of honeyed stone fruits, with a little bit of vanilla in the background. And on the palate, you're getting that apple turnover, but there's also this oily, actual like a chocolate flavor in there, which is amazing. And then there's this creamy sweetness, and it's that creamy sweetness that sort of carries out in the finish as, as it slowly fades. That is a beautiful whiskey. So the reason why I like this is there's some cheaper Irish whiskies out there that don't have a lot to them. You've got the expensive ones that do have those complex flavors. The Bushmill 10 year old sits right in the middle. So you get things like those chocolate and, and stone fruits marrying up together, but it's at that affordable price point, which by the way, at Dan Murphy's, you can pick this up for just $71 for a 10 year old whiskey. All right. So heading back to Scotland, we're going back to the Speyside region, the Glen Moray. Now this distillery is already known for making affordable single malts. And realistically, I would put their classic single malt, their sherry cask, even their 12 year old into the affordable whiskies category. They're all under $70 a bottle, which is fantastic. But I wanted to put a port cask finish in here. Um, and that's because some people do like sweeter whiskey and anything that's been aged in port barrels is what's gonna give you that sweeter sort of flavor. Things like your, your Christmas cake and things like that. So the classic port cask finish from Glen Marais, it's been aged primarily in ex-bourbon barrels, and then it's been finished for eight months in port pipes. Now, port pipes just refers to a type of barrel that's usually somewhere over 350 litres. So you can see it's got a nice rose gold colour that's come from those port barrels. 
On the nose, you can very much get that fortified wine sort of sweetness from the port, as well as a bit of toasted vanilla. There's a caramelized sugar on the palate. And then like, there's this sort of warm wine lingering flavor that mellows out towards the end. Personally, I love port age whiskey. So this is fantastic for me from the outset. Um, but if you've got a sweet tooth, if you wanna try different things, this is a great way that you're gonna pick up those caramelized sugars and those fermented fruit sort of flavors uh, without paying the price tag that you sometimes do on the more expensive port age whiskeys. You can pick these ones up from Dan Murphy's for $58, which for how well balanced it is, that's a fantastic price. Um, now blends can get a bad rap, but I wanted to show that there are some good ones out there. And the Monkey Shoulder is a great example of this. Now, while some blends uh, don't have any distinct flavors because they're a combination of several whiskeys all blended together, Monkey Shoulder is a combination of just three single malts, which is actually why they've got three monkeys on the shoulder of the bottle. So this blend is made with a combination of Glenfiddich, Balvini, and I know I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, Kininvi. I don't speak traditional Scottish garlic. If anyone does, please correct me in the comments. I know you will. Now the result is a blended whiskey that was made specifically for cocktails, but it's still quite easy to drink neat. So as you can see, it's got a golden color. On the nose, you're getting some orange and vanilla and honeyed sweetness. And then there's citrus, nut, and even a bit of mint. The only thing I will say about this is that the finish is quite short. So those flavors, they're there in the mouth, they're, they're great in the body, but they do dissipate quickly. So that's the monkey shoulder. I like this one because while you can drink it neat, you definitely don't feel guilty mixing it with a cocktail. It's what it was made for. And you can pick them up at Dan Murphy's for only 64 bucks. I didn't want to finish this video without including an Australian whiskey. Now I love supporting the Australian whiskey industry, but the price point can make that difficult sometimes. Starwood is a distillery based down in Melbourne, Victoria. And while they have a range of special expressions and, and limited release whiskies that are award-winning and expensive, they do maintain an entry-level whiskey. Now the twofold, as the name suggests, is made with a combination of malted barley and Australian wheat, which is aged in Australian wine barrels. And again, a combination of Shiraz, Cabernet, and Pinot Noir casks. The result is the twofold whiskey that you can pick up in any Dan Murphy store. So from the wine, you've got the rose gold color. There's notes of berries and vanilla slice on the nose. Some caramel and tropical fruit on the palate. And then the finish is sort of long and dry, um, very much carried by that wine sort of sweetness that fades out over time. Now, I like this because it's an approachable, affordable whiskey. And much like the monkey shoulder, while you can drink it neat, it's, you don't feel guilty throwing it into a cocktail. Now, you will always find it at Dan Murphy's, retailing for $75. If you want to support Australian whiskey, this is definitely one I'd recommend. Those are my five bang for buck whiskies. If you're new to whiskey and you don't know what you like yet, these are a great place to start. There's a broad range of flavors and there should be something to suit everyone and they're not gonna break the bank. Personally, my favorite was the Bushmills 10. Those chocolate notes really resonated with me and I'm probably gonna have another glass after this. If you found a great affordable whiskey, let me know in the comments below, but otherwise like and subscribe and slanch. Who cares? Who cares, Nate? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I care. <laughs> what, what is it again? Shut up. <laughs> okay. The monkey shoulder. <laughs> it's painful to watch, isn't it? It's so painful. Yeah. Good point. Thanks, honey. Yeah. Next week. <laughs> Next week on Doing Things Better. <laughs>